Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Remember, if you like it, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up until your friends. friends. We got Brie OCD and Jay Swizzle My Nizzle in the house. Yeah. Today, we are going to tell you what the top five non-alcoholic beers are. Let's get into it. It's Brie OCD time, baby. Okay. So we are going to go into the top five non-alcoholic beers. Why non-alcoholic, you say? Well, I started drinking non-alcoholic when I was training for a powerlifting meet. You can check out my channel for those videos. Uh, and the month leading up to it, I don't drink alcohol just so I'm in my peak performance. This guy over here had some health issues. You can also check the video out on his seizures. That's why he stopped drinking alcohol for good. I still have regular alcohol a good amount, but I still like these non-alcoholic beers. Why else are they good? Dry January, you wanna quit drinking beer for a month, you can still mm -hmm. drink these, still good for you. You can still be productive when you drink non-alcoholic beers. You can still drive, you can still work, you can still do anything you want and still get that feeling like you're drinking a non-alcoholic beer. And let me tell you, we have had a lot of non-alcoholic beers. This is a whole list of all the non-alcoholic beers we have had. A Mind lot. you, we haven't had all of them. But these are our top five non-alcoholic beers. Let's get into it. Number five. Da, 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 da. Let's go. <laughs> Good Heineken. Transition. Heineken <laughs> NA. Number five. What's so good about this beer? It's well, it's 0.0. .0 so if you're pregnant, you can still drink this beer because it's literally 0.0. .0. It is light, it is crisp, it is refreshing, and it is sold everywhere. It is 69 calories and 15 carbs. That's that's not too bad at all. And you can find it anywhere, any market. They have Heineken NA. They have it abroad, overseas, in the US, everywhere. It is readily available. You know what, too? It tastes exactly like the real thing, too, which is great. Yeah, it tastes just like regular Heineken, and uh, they make it by basically making it just like Heineken and then extracting the alcohol for, from it, and then I think they add a little bit of other things to make it taste better, but it tastes just like regular Heineken. Number four. four. Ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> All right. So we got Athletic Brewing Upside Dawn, right? This is 50 calories and 11 carbs. Let's get it closer so you can see it in its entirety. And Athletic Brewing is actually the first non-alcoholic beer that I ever drank. My aunt told me about it. They are from Connecticut and they're, they're, um, they're bringing a brewery to San Diego. They're in the middle of building it right now. Woo! That's right. And you can find it uh, actually in many places because we found it in upstate New York at a Wegmans for twelve ninety nine a uh, six pack, right? So you might be able to find it in a uh, grocery store near you. Just got to look. So it's floral, earthy notes. It's just light, crisp, refreshing as well. It does have a little bit of a hot beef flavor to it, even though it's more like a golden ale. It does have a little bit hoppy to it, and it is 0.5 or less alcohol by volume. So this one isn't zero, 00. None of these other ones are. This is called a near bear. Yep. So athletic brewing, number four, upside down. Let's go. Number three. What's our number three, Bree? Dun, 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 dun. Two Roots Brewing, enough said. This is an award winner. This won the gold medal at the Great American Beer Fest. So this won the gold medal. It is less than point alcohol by volume. It has 80 calories, 18 carbs, and you can find this for $11.99 a six pack at BevMo. So I know a lot of you probably don't have BevMo. We do in California, but you can order BevMo.com online and just order it for shipping. This is a local San Diego brewery. So they have a brewery yeah. down in Ocean Beach, which is about probably eight minutes from us. Uh, and they have a whole line of regular beers. And then they have these non-alcoholic beers. And they also have cannabis-infused beers, which I have never tried, but I really should try those. So this is super delicious. It is a Hellas-style German lager. 
It is clear, it's yellow, it's aromatic, it's hoppy, has a little bit of sweetness from the malts. It is really freaking delicious. So that is our number... Dos. Three. Three. <laughs> beer. Moving on to number two. Beer. Let's go. We're getting up there, folks. This, this is, is really the, the best of the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> number two. That's right, folks. Two roots at number two again. This is Mango Dango. Oh, Mango Dango. When we first tried this, the first thing I said was, I could pound this. Okay? So this is number two, and I could pound it. Not advisable. This is 120 calories, 28 carbs. Eight. Yes, you're right. 28 carbs. <laughs> and you can also get this just like the Enough Said at BevMo. Um, and this is a, just like the other one, is in San Diego. Um, we can go eight minutes down the street and get it, but uh, you just gotta go to BevMo. Another near beer, less than 5% alcohol by volume. This is hoppy, has fruit aromas, aromatic, has subtle notes of mango. It it's is delicious. Really? Freaking good. It is my number two. I could drink it all day long. Good I thing it's not it, alcoholic. Uh, my, the only thing that I would knock this for is that it's $13.99 a six pack. I mean, granted people, you are not going out to the bar drinking this, so you would spend a lot more money at the bar, but $13.99 a six pack. I mean, that is kind of a little steep. When the other one was only $11.99 a six pack. I don't know why this mango dangle, maybe because the mangoes makes it a little bit more money. But again, buy it online at BevMo. You can have it shipped to your home from BevMo.com. And eventually, they are supposed to be rolling out in 2020 more options at stores. Okay? And now, for our number one bear. Rum roll, please. Bum, ba, da, da. Number one beer, non-alcoholic, athletic brewing, run wild IPA, people. This is fantastic. It is also made by the same people as uh, Upside Dawn. You can find this in a lot of stores across the country. Uh, it also, you can buy it online. You can buy it at athleticbrewing.com. You can buy it on nacraftbeverages.com as well as this Upside Dawn. And they have it at Wegmans. They have it across the country at different retailers. We, unfortunately, don't have it here. Again, it's from Connecticut originally, so it's more on the East Coast stores. But the brewery is coming to San Diego, which means it will be at more retail shops. This is brewed with five Northwest hops. It is on the hoppier side for an IPA, but not really compared to regular IPAs. Uh, it should have won awards if it hasn't won them already. It has a bitterness that balances the malt. It is just really freaking fantastic. Uh, it's one of our favorites, 70 calories. Let's see, 70 calories, 14 grams of carbs. So these non-alcoholic beers do have a little bit more carbs than the regular beers, but maybe not than craft beers, but then, you know, say just a regular Old Claws Light, of course it does. But this is, hands down, number one beer. Let's go! Congratulations, Athletic Brewing Company. You won. So, to review, number one, Athletic Brewing Run Wild IPA. Number two, Two Roots Mango Dango. Number three, Two Roots Enough Said. Number four, Athletic Brewing Upside Dawn. I mean, these two just, these two companies just got it going on. And yeah. number five, Heineken. Some others that didn't make the cut, that could have, but we only wanted to do the top five. Two very good. Well-being very good Brewing, which we just reviewed last week. You can check. I'll put a link up at the top. Dark Amber Hellraiser from Well-Being Brewing. Again, you can buy this online. And then another athletic brewing, Hometown Harvest. And this, to me, isn't my favorite, but it's very also good. not readily available. It's a special limited edition. These are their, um, what are those called? The Mainstays. 
mainstays, yeah. core, their core beers. This you can only get every once in a while, this hometown harvest. But he That's only seasonal. Loves, this loves, one, love this one. I'm gonna drink it right now because it's very good. We felt like we couldn't put it in the list just because it's so seasonal. And it's not my favorite. These are my favorites. It's the last one too that I have. But just for you. These are worth mentioning. And again, there are a ton of other beers. I do not like the German beers because they taste too honey-ish. I don't like any of the German non-alcoholic beers. But people, there are so many more non-alcoholic beers out there besides just Odul. So get your head out of just thinking about Odul's and try some of these. Again, nacraftbeverages.com. You can pick them up at or just going to the regular retail sites or at bevmo.com. So I encourage you to put away the alcohol at some times, get these near beers and just be productive and, and have a clear mind and a clear head and enjoy some non-alcoholic beers. That's right. All right. Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up until your friends. It's Brio CD. And Jay Swizzle. We out. Peace. Peace. Top five.